I'm Zach Rosenberg with 8-Bit Dad, and we're here in front of the sun at Hamilton Steel Guitars in Van Nuys, California. We're covering the Paint the Cure event for Team Evan. And I can't even think because this light is so bright. It's the only light that's in this place. And we decided to do our intro right in front of it. So I hope you guys enjoy what we got for you tonight because I'm not gonna see any of it from now on. My name is Chris Hamilton. I'm Matt Mary. And you guys are the actual owners and uh, proprietors of Hamilton Steel Guitars, right? Yes, we are. Awesome. So all of the stuff we see on the walls back here is, is from you guys, right? Yeah, everything on the wall is yeah. us. Yeah, we've been making the guitars for about a year and a half. Um, so tell us a little bit about what's going on here tonight. Uh, tonight is a benefit for my cousin Evan. It's also a benefit for um, re Relay for Life. It's also a cancer benefit thing. Everything benefits uh, the, the Leukemia Lymphoma um, Society. Uh, but basically, my little cousin, he had leukemia. Uh, he relapsed. And then uh, he's in remission now, but he's going through all the chemo and all that stuff. It's real tough on my, my cousin. So we figured we'd all get together. Um, we've all been doing art shows together before. So we decided let's just pool the resources and uh, just put on a fun night, you know, sell some beers, sell some food, everyone mingle, buy some art. The family is the is the is the basis of it. You know what I mean? It's the only. It's I wouldn't say it's the only thing that matters because it all matters. But that is just it's his rock. It's his rock. Everyone is is just so down with it and uh, just wanting to help. And it's great. It's really you know helpful. And everybody's just kind of coming together and you know art is doing some yeah, good. It's, it's the community yeah. aspect of it that's so cool to me. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just like people actually give. They care. There's been a lot of cool stuff, and there's live painting going on. Tell us about the guy who's doing that live painting. Uh, he's named the Blacklight King. Uh, we met him at an art show that we uh, went, that uh, actually another girl that actually helped us out with uh, was putting on. So we met him. Um, just were blown away by what he did. And he's got to be hot in the uh, the luchador, oh, he, the glow-in-the-dark luchador mask yeah. and the, uh, the, ski, <laughs> the ski mask or whatever he's got going on. It's the dedication that he has that makes him so, so awesome. You know, we're a family website and uh, we're interested in family events and especially, you know, stuff that helps, you know, friends and family and uh, exactly. things like that. So this is definitely like a, a really cool event for us to go to and to be part of. And, right and you know, thanks for, thanks for inviting us. Oh, totally, man. It's a beautiful thing to have this much support from strangers even coming up to me and ask, knowing that I'm Evan's mom and knowing that they're here to help Evan in um, doing research with the Leukemia Lymphoma Society. So it's just an amazing thing that people would come out and support something like this without even meeting Evan. When Evan was diagnosed while he was in school, they sent a monkey to sit in his chair so that chair wouldn't be empty and they would have Evan there and take him places and take pictures with the monkey. And I want parents to, to tell their kids it's not contagious. A lot of kids have thought, oh, can I get cancer? That's not gonna happen. It's not contagious. Evan is the same person that he was. He just might look different, bald head, he gets pudgy from the steroids, but he's the same kid and he's just going through some tough situations right now. And he's gonna have a bone marrow transplant within the next month and a half. And that's coming from in the family? And his brother is a match, a perfect match. That's awesome. It's amazing. That's great. Well, thank you very much for thank talking. Thank you. My name is Vivian Hartman. Uh, I'm here because um, I, I cook for my shop called Buffalo Bruce's, and I have a barbecue shop, and we're Yelp rated. I'm so excited. And where is Buffalo Bruce's? It's in Silmar, 13661 Hubbard, <laughs> in Silmar. Silmar, California. California. It's called Buffalo Bruce's Mercantile. Um, I had a daughter. Her name was Sophia Hartman, and she had leukemia and um, in the frames of leukemia there's different realms and there's the kind that, that will will um, oh that you can survive and there's the kind that you can't and she had the kind that you can't it was called refractory leukemia which means that there's like oil and water you know how it doesn't mix well anything you do it doesn't work it will just never work refractory means it just backs right off my first reaction was like I didn't get it I didn't understand that leukemia meant you know, cancer, but my husband did. And he's a big burly man, his name is Bruce Hartman, and you know, he's just a big guy, and, and this hurt his heart tremendously. It's very hard for him, because he knew right off. I have an organization called sophiasangels.org, 
and uh, the organization is a site of information to empower other parents how to love their child through it. Let's say, for example, in our case, my I was in the hospital all the time, and my husband had to work. And then, as a man, you know, he's he felt so underprivileged because he wasn't there every day. I know that that bothers my husband still, right? But he needed to keep working for insurance for us, right? And then I was upset, I have to tell you the truth. I mean, this is a bigger interview than I thought, but the true beings thing, if you're doing this for a dad, you should know that the mama will, or the, the other caretaker will feel like overwhelmed and burdened, like maybe they're not doing enough, but they are. They're keeping it together. You know, he had to help pick up my son from school. He had to keep the house together. Oh, look, I have clown noses that are infused with lavender for children. Like when they're doing like blood tests and they're really scared of it, even the parent. You go ahead and you put this on, like put it on your nose. And you see how it smells, it smells like it lavender. It smells like lavender. <laughs> and it, lavender calms your spirit. So if you were to be getting a blood test right now that would be working on you right now, and you'd be looking at your nose and smelling that lavender before you know you're in to take the edge off. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for having me. My name is Angie Castro, and I'm part of Paint the Cure team. My name is April Aguirre. I'm also a part of Paint the Cure team, and I'm the owner of the website IamSanFernando.com. So um, for our fundraising for the Relay for Life, uh, we've done the art show. We've um, also, we did a pancake breakfast at Mike's Cafe in Pacoima, and we will be at the Relay for Life um, next Saturday at San Fernando Park. At, um, it's an all-day event, and we're going to continue to raffle off more paintings. Um, and pretty much that's what we've, we've done for our team is uh, more of the raffling of the art and um, doing, uh, what else did we do? Well, also since um, <laughs> our team is specifically, you know, there's a number of teams that gather together to fundraise and our team is centered around art. So all of the events that we've put together have incorporated art in some way, whether it was vending or face painting or incorporating live art as the Black Light did tonight. Um, we just always try to emphasize the idea that art is therapy and it can be therapeutic especially in a time when you're struggling with something like cancer whatever kind of disease or any kind of sickness you're dealing with so that's what we've been doing fundraising leading up to next week at San Fernando Recreation Park which is the main 24-hour relay event where we'll be doing more of what Angie was saying. So tonight was a big thing actually being able to give back to Evan's family and whether it's filling up his fridge or his mom's gas tank to take him to a doctor's appointment that's what was important to us it was to help relieve her um, for for any what reason well thank you guys very much let us know your uh, your websites one more time your organizations sure. we're from team paint the cure yeah you can look that up on Facebook you just type in paint the cure I'm from I am San and I'm on Facebook Twitter and YouTube awesome thank you all right so we are here with Courtney Hamilton and you're Chris's sister. Yes, I am. I remember you from way back also. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry for whatever I ever did to you. Well, it was like eighth grade, so, yeah. you know, whatever. <laughs> Tell us about how it went tonight. It went really well. Like, it, we had a bunch of friends that um, we kind of gathered over the years, and we made some new friends that own an art studio, and they wanted to do a benefit. They do a Relay for Life where they have to do like so many um, benefits and charities within a few months. So they said, hey, why don't we do one at the shop? And we, and we, you know, my cousin just had the relapse. So I said, let's do something together. And Angie coordinated everything, got all the artists together. We pulled all our friends, our family. Um, it was just awesome. I, I, I can't believe, I, actually I can believe that I have such good friends, but I can't believe that it, came together so well and we could actually do something for somebody else. We have a lot of good people in our lives and it was just reaffirming that and and it kind of shows you like if you get together with a few people you have some good ideas you can do something really good. I bet Evan's gonna be stoked when he sees all the stuff that happened and and all everything and all the family that came out and all the friends that came out like that'll be that'll be awesome for him he's gonna love it he's it's gonna mean the world to him you guys and i appreciate you guys coming out and covering this like it, that means a lot to me too yeah that's awesome it's it's our pleasure to do that so thank you very much You're for uh, for talking to us